All right, I don't know um, if it's a great magnification. You're probably not going to see the strength points and whatnot. It's not really about that mostly. It's um, for me trying to um, just get enough information into my head or uh, a picture, or, you know, things into context so that way I can just go off and uh, ruminate about it for a while, you know, digest stuff so I can get on to other things. All right. So this, yeah, this is about the Austro-Hungarian um, situation, I guess, for November 18th to the 21st, 1914, in my game. Um, here we, you know, in Shemish, we've got uh, Svetozar Brejevich. He's the, um, the sector commander for uh, the Eastern European conflict zone for the Austro-Hungarians. Part of the Katowice Conference Agreement is he's responsible for everything east of the Visloka following the river line, uh, you know with um, the Vistula and whatnot. So everything, all the white guys from here on in, he's in charge of. Uh, the main problem is, I'm sure it was a an, an administrative error on my part uh, in real life. Um, a turn or two ago, the Russians, pr I probably should have had, I uh, probably did have Austro-Hungarians uh, in a, anyways, I'm going with the narrative. They found a, um, they exploited a weakness in the Austro-Hungarian line. Um, they were able to knock out, um, uh, actually, was it surrendered? No, no, they just took out a uh, German brigade uh, and forced the, um, the Austro-Hungarian landwehr brigade to go back to horde, uh, towards here. I didn't include their one strength point. Their, uh, their one strength point is under fourth army control. I'm just just go with me for it. For it. Um, so there we have it. These guys are also under fourth army control, but um, so I've got some issues, which is not der Weltkrieg oriented. I'm just still de dealing with it. And like I said before, the the this is um, a work in progress, uh, finding out things in progress, the whole nine yards. Uh, so that's the way I'm going about it. I love this bit. 10 strength points, uh, supply points, sorry. You probably, like I said, you probably can't see the numbers, I'm sorry. Uh, those 10 supply points were part of the Katowice uh, conference agreement. The instant uh, the Germans uh, were able to um, connect rail from Krakow to, I think it was, uh, to Tarnow, uh, that was it. Like clickety click, Bob a trick. You got to start doing things like uh, sending over supply points. And trust me, they 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 pull, like dragged their heels, man. It was like not. They were like, ah, I don't really want to give you those ten. That type of. There's been a lot of this lower or upper hand. Like okay, well, uh, uh, really taking a look at the rules uh, or I should say the you know at uh, the every word bit of wording from the the Katowice conference agreement to go well you did say you said you know three infantry divisions you didn't say what strength they were that type of stuff you know like both were playing give and take kind of thing it's the way it goes man um, so we've got that I've got to deal with it um, not too bad. I'm really happy with the 10 strength uh, supply point uh, supply points. That being said, I've been forced. Uh, the Austro-Hungarians have been just ch ch once we made that breach across the Boog. I was like, okay, we got to go mental, because it as well as we've now wrapped around the river. We don't have to deal with the bridge at this moment in time, as in causing grief on on both sides it, they can't do everything forever that's so i'm kind of it just sucks that they're good on them you know good on them okay here we go with the eighth army i'm pretty darn sure we've got or the austro hungarians have um we got three more turns uh not till the 30th of november do we have to worry about the um december truce Lots of time to try to get some troops at least to a position to get the Russians to say, you know what, this sucks. Uh, we'll just move. Uh, we'll just completely retreat back um, north of the uh, the Dniester and um, you know south of the Prut, and you know we'll uh, focus on the on Cernowitz. Eh, it's probably not a good spot either, but eh, they probably could do do it. You get the idea. 
Um, I can't wait to try to extend the maps for this in, when we get into Romania and Serbia and whatnot. There we go. So that's that bit. I think we're okay. I just need to bring more troops this way so I can start uh, giving these guys, um, by the way, uh, go away. Um, I also have to remind myself not to uh, chase a flying, uh, uh, running chickens in the farmyard. I'm never going to catch them. Um, so what? Go, off you go. There's no defensible terrain. So uh, you, you want to be a running chicken in the farmyard? Go for it. Um, I'll, I'll figure out other spots, uh, other places. Oh, okay, on a side note. Um, because like, I'm going to finish up uh, relatively. I'm going to start looking at, is there some, I really would like to see if there's uh, some games out there that model um, stagnation of uh, lot of troops in uh, along your line. Um, because it did affect morale uh, and combat, combat effectiveness from what I've been reading. Secondly, also, another thing that I've been reading about, um, which blew me away uh, from the Storm of Steel book, is that um, the defensive posture of the troops really affected their morale. The Germans did not like being defensive-minded. They did. I was like, wow! And that um, bred in with uh, that higher command from what I've been reading about, about, you know, like, oh, you got to be, like, offensive-minded. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, you're actually feeding into what the higher command wanted. And I was just like, whoa. And on a third side note, if you want to call it that, which maybe is still connecting with this, is uh, the uh, from the, um, the guided tour that I did uh, or attended, um, was um, the amount of boredom that a lot of the troops had on the Western, uh, she focused on the, uh, the Western Front. Um, the amount of boredom that they had, uh, I was just like, oh my gosh. It's so weird, eh, to be like, you're bored. Oh my God, it's almost like a metaphor for life in some bizarre way sometimes. Because okay. <laughs> death is just round the corner, for Christ's sakes, all the time. I, I'm sorry, man. Uh, yeah, I'm having fun, as per usual. Hopefully you are too. See ya.